Hey there, Leo. Welcome to Lady of the Unknown Oracle. My name is Sophie, and this is your mid-month reading for March 2023. Thank you so much for joining me. Kindly remember that this is a general reading, and that time is fluid, so please apply what resonates currently and suspend the rest. This reading can be applied to relationships, career, and personal growth, as well as to the sign of Leo, wherever it presents in your birth chart. I do offer personal readings, and you can find my information in the description box below. And if you enjoy today's reading, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And please comment below, Leo. I would love to hear from you. And with that, let's get started. So, Leo, in your pre-shuffle, I got this sense that you have been planning something for quite a while. But something very strictly routine-based. Something either work-related, right? That's a 9 to 5 um, if this is a business that you have created, there's been a strict schedule or need to routinize um, your daily obligations. This could be uh, your relationship and trying to find a way to um, take legal, legal course with it, get married. Um, if you are um, looking to separate from someone, you are trying to make it official. If you are dating someone, you are trying to be exclusive with them. So what this is for you, Leo, is structure and seeds that have been planted. All right. This has been a long time coming, your desire for this. The plan itself may have also been taking quite a long time, but take that as it resonates. This is just something that at your core you have been wanting to see flourish for yourself at some point in time. Okay. Something about that is coming towards you. New life. I love this card. I love all of the colors in this card. Um, new life, right? Look at how she's just stretching. She is just imbued with all of that energy. New life. This is about you coming into your own. This is about essentially this new life, this new energy, this new existence. Um, this is beautiful, Leo. So if you are working and this has to do with work for you. This is about a promotion. If this is love, this is about somebody realizing something significant that they want this too, realizing that they also want the same things. Um, this is about something that has been lying dormant, finally coming alive. Something is awaking, awakening. Something is um, just for the first time seeing a light, but there has always been potential there. This feels like the Ace of Pentacles, okay? For some, if this is about pregnancy, you will be getting a positive pregnancy test. Congratulations. If this is about getting that proposal from someone or, or giving that proposal and having it uh, accepted, the answer is yes. Um, and this is just about beginning that new life. It's a new step and it's the beginning of a new chapter exchanging gifts. So this is very similar to the six of pentacles. This is about in order to receive something from someone, you have to also give to them. So this is equal give and take, Leo. You are going to find that whatever you have been endeavoring to achieve is going to be reciprocated during this time. So if you've been looking to be recognized at work for a job well done, you will be receiving that. If you are hoping to receive recognition from a loved one for everything you have been investing and all of the hard work you've been putting into something, you will be recognized and applauded for that. And, and given, for some of you, this is about being given gifts in exchange for a hard day's work, um, a hard period of work. So this is about finally reaping what you sow. You knew this was coming though, Leo. So I'm getting very strong promotion energy. I'm getting very strong recognition energy for you to the sea. So to the sea is a tricky energy here, Leo, because what to the sea indicates is that while you might be surrounded by beauty and luxury and the things that you have been fighting for, there's a part of you that might feel like it is not, you're not quite there. It's almost like the eight of cups where you know, you know what you want and you are grateful for the things that you have, but you feel like there is still something significant missing. 
I want to also say that to the C usually indicates that what you want is already here, that it might be more of a perspective issue. So we will take a greater look at that as well. But overall, so far, Leo, this is very promising energy because this is telling me that anything you have been fighting to receive recently, you'll be seeing the results and the fruits of your labor from. So Leo, please, past, present, future, why this is all happening and the best case scenario, please. Past, present, future, why this is all happening and the best case scenario, please. Okay. In the past, we have the Nine of Cups, all right? Um, Nine of Cups is about a wish fulfilled, something that you have been wanting for quite a while. Nine of Cups is about having left something behind previously that did not serve you and pursuing what you truly loved or who you truly loved. So in the recent past, you found quite a lot of success choosing, choosing in the direction of your heart, doing what felt right. And now you're sitting in a space of contentment. Maybe not outright joy, but you feel so blessed to be alive, okay? This is your recent past. So I will say, Leo, if you are not yet in this energy, then if this is not in your past yet, then this could be the energy that you are moving into shortly, which is beautiful. It's very intentional. Where you currently are is the page of pentacles. You may be connecting with a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. Page of Pentacles is a student, so you may be finding yourself going back to school um, either for a degree or some form of lic licensure. You may be required to complete some kind of program or course. Um, but in general, this is about having a student's mindset. So this could be a friend of yours that you are, um, you are getting closer to in a significant way. Something about this connection allows you to progress through your plan. This could also be someone that you are connecting with at the moment in a romantic sense. There's, It's funny because I'm almost getting, I'm trying to clarify, it, it's almost like a, a girl's next door type of look this person has. You know, it's just real, you know, someone that you that's very grounded, very earthy, just someone who is just very natural in the way that, you know, because pentacles is natural, pentacles is nature. So it is someone who just naturally has amazing hair, someone who's just very healthy, you know, someone who you look at them and, you know, they're, they're very sporty and they're very naturally attractive. It's, it's just, they're, they're a, an excellent planner and they, you know, even for their age, they are, they are exhibiting, you know, maybe wisdom decades ahead of their time. So they're 35, but it's like they've lived a lifetime right? So it's that feeling of somebody who just has the tools to be very mature in their own, in their own space. Um, this is someone either that you are connecting with Leo or someone, um, or part of a, a, an aspect of yourself that you are embodying. Okay. No. What's coming in for you is the four of cups okay so a feeling of being of t someone taking something for granted and that is essentially what this is here okay four of cups and to the sea this is that feeling of being surrounded by by things having someone in your environment or an opportunity of some kind in your environment but you may be overlooking it so coming into the near future leo be mindful to um Keep your eyes open, okay? You are going to be receiving an incredible gift, but it's not going to appear in the package you originally prayed for it or were hoping to receive it, all right? There is something different about the way this blessing is going to present, but it is up to you to feel when it is presented because it's not going to look it, all right? So this is something that could potentially be a missed opportunity if, 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 big if, if you are not aware, which you are now, that if you are not aware, you may miss it, okay? Why it's all happening is the three of swords, the three of Michael. 
Okay, three of swords. For some, this is indicating a third part, a third party, um, some kind of painful event that occurred recently. This could indicate just some type of heartbreaking situation. It's it wasn't easy, whatever this was. This could be someone as well I'm getting that you helped support through a difficult time, Leo. But this is all happening because you've been scarred before. You know what this is like. Okay, you've, you've been there, done that. You've, you've witnessed the hard truth. And you know where you stand in that regard. The best case scenario is the Five of Cups. So the Five of Cups is talking about um, grief that comes with loss. All right. I've seen the five of cups also come up for words that were left unsaid. It's a, it's a sadness or a disappointment that you have when you wish you would have done something differently or said something differently. You know, too much was left on the table, but then you left or someone left before time was up. So again, I caution you, Leo, because in the future you do have the four of cups. Okay. With the best case scenario being the five of cups, what I'm getting is that despite any type of loss, what happens is a sense of gratitude, right? Sometimes when we, sometimes when the value of something eludes us, we realize even if it was in hindsight, that it was something that we could have paid better attention to. And so we won't do it again. So again, with the three of swords being in why it's all happening, Leo, I think this is something you've already been through. And so with the best case scenario, you have been through this and you've healed from it. And so instead of missing the opportunity, you are actually able to sit with it. You're able to see it, accept it, and connect with it. Okay? I'm getting a lot of healing. I'm getting leaving it in the past. And this is resolution. So if this is a situation, Leo, where you've had to leave, where you have to leave something or someone behind, the pain will be short lived. Okay. So let me see. For Leo, past, present, future, why it's all happening and the best case scenario. Clarification, please. Okay, now clarifying the Nine of Cups, we have the Seven of Swords. Okay, so in the recent past, you may have encountered somebody's selfishness. All right, um, this is somebody who was avoiding a conversation, someone who is sneaking in around the background, someone who was having their cake and eating it too. All right, um, if that's not the case, it is that someone really cut corners. They cheated their way to the top in their recent past. So there may be someone here who you know has done this. I will caution you, Leo, to not engage in this type of energy um, because these successes are very short-lived, okay? Um, and especially if, we've, if there's a history here of having been cheated out of something before, right, in, sort of implementing the, that, that, those painful behaviors and adopting them into yourself, it keeps you in a painful cycle, okay? So try not to be, you know how they say hurt people hurt people. It's important to heal from past pain and not bring that pain to others because you inflict it onto yourself over time as well. So take the time that you need to heal. But in the recent past, this is a feeling here of someone being quite selfish, someone quite self-centered, um, and perhaps avoiding the fact that they were doing something that served them only and essentially isolating other people from the situation. Okay, You in your current space with the Page of Pentacles, now mind you, this could be someone who you know of. Okay. Page of Pentacles is being clarified here by the Hermit. So you may be connecting with a Virgo, but this is about someone going within and making a decision um, about where they want to go to school, if that is relevant. But this is about where exactly, what direction do they want to take this commitment, right? Where do they want to, where exactly, where do they want, where do they see this going? And asking themselves if the commitment 
is worth the time. Because the hermit is very wise and the hermit doesn't just follow anyone. The hermit has experience and at the very least has a self-awareness. With the Page of Pentacles, this is about the hermit going to school and excelling at school, um, getting that license that they need if they have to have it. This is also about having all of the experience required to have a very successful long-term relationship. But what is also required is time and a desire because I'm getting that for some of you where there was pain in the past you're not interested in devoting yourself to someone right now this is more about putting the time into yourself and enjoying the things that you wanted to at the time but could not for all for all the reasons that occurred then okay coming into the near future is the four of cups being clarified by the eight of wands so Leo, you are about to receive some major news. Again, this is something that from the get-go is not going to be exactly in the form you expect it, but communication will be received about it. You will know. That's the thing. And the thing, here's the thing, Leo, is that the wands also are a form of energy, right? Wands are energy. So with the eight of wands, this is about you having that having that gift of of being able to feel the energy you're going to know when when the, it's almost like when the angels communicate to you it's when you see the synchronicities you look at the at the time all the time it's like a 333 a 222 um you look at your receipt and it's 666 right so it's it's that sense of you know that you're being guided you know that your vision is being directed somewhere Okay, but there is this feeling here that if you are not careful, something will be offered to you, but because it's so quick to move, you may miss it. So whether it's a, an email, keep track of your emails, keep track of your text messages, make sure that if you do want someone to get in touch with you, please make sure that you give them the right phone number, get, that you give them the, the right email, right? Don't miss it. Don't miss it. Write everything down. Make sure that you double check after yourself. Just if there's an opportunity you want, Make sure that everything is, is exactly the way you require it. Written down. Communication. Say it all. Leave it all on the table. Okay? Why it's all happening with the Three of Swords is the magician. Someone may have been just a manipulator. Just truly a manipulator. Gemini, Virgo, Aries. Just someone really, they just didn't know how to leave well enough alone. You know what I mean? It's like they had all the tools to do good and what did they do? They just caused pain. Um, manipulator for some this is narcissism you know truly someone who just did not deserve all of all of the good that was offered to them um this is about recovering from pain leo absolutely whether it was that they cheated on you whether it was um you know a workplace a workplace situation where your boss told you one thing and ended up doing another thing whatever this is you just I'll say this, it inspired you to do better and to seek out better. You're, you didn't allow yourself to be stuck in this, but you did allow it to inform your next move. Five of Cups, for the best case scenario being clarified, is the Page of Cups. Um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. This could be an apology coming in, right? Someone telling you like, you know, I really wish I had not said that to you that time or that I wish I did tell you that that time. So someone's going to come in and say something to you that is going to be heartfelt, either an apology or something that they've always been wanting to, wanting to say, but never had the courage to say it. Okay, now let's get some guidance, please, for Leo. Guidance for Leo, please. We have Justice, could be connected with a Libra. And we have the Ace of Wands. So Justice and the Ace of Wands is about taking action towards reestablishing balance, Leo. So if this is a Libra that you're connecting with, there's something you've been wanting to express to them. And some kind of action, it, it's, it's in a positive direction. I want to say that if you're connecting with a fire sign or a Libra, Leo, this is about you. This is about you 
taking that first step and approaching them. It's almost, I'm getting a sense of an agreement. For some, this might be a workplace person. This is about trying to find out what's fair or establishing some type of a contract. Whatever that is for you, Leo, the guidance here is to do that. Don't just think about it, but actually start taking the steps towards that. For others of you have, who have already taken this action, then the guidance is to make sure that you keep your attention focused, keep your, keep your focus on, keep your attention on to the details, make sure you cross all the T's and dot all the I's, because you are entering a space now where the change is going to be minimal. It's not going to be this huge upheaval like you were imagining, but it is coming and it's going to happen in increments. So make sure, again, make sure that you pay attention to the details because you're, re you're receiving something shortly. But if you're not careful, you're going to miss it and there's going to be a wait time. Having to wait for it again is going to require a wait. But I am getting that this is going to work in your favor, Leo. This is more a matter of making sure that you show up because the pain keeps you from showing up or is, it's trying to keep you from showing up. You might be feeling a little bit discouraged or like you could be doing something more, but here you are doing something less. That is the pain talking. If there is something that you know you can be doing to progress yourself through this situation, and part of that involves either contracts or, or verbalizing an agreement with someone, taking that action, taking that first step, making your intentions known, it feels risky, but looking at where you currently stand, you you are bigger than this situation. You are so much bigger than all of this, than the pain and the heartbreak and you being right smack dab in the middle of all this smaller energy. It's like you are so much bigger than this and all it takes for you to move out of this situation is to initiate that one move, that one communication, that one conversation, that one step, one, just one. If you do it, you'll notice a significant shift and that will help you with build the momentum required to get this new life rolling because there's a reason. There's a reason all of these positive cards came out for you even though your tarot cards are coming through with quite a lot of pain and sadness. There's a reason because in the midst of all this, something is going to show you that this is this, everything that you, you are going through and currently are going through, there's no space for this if you want new. And all it takes is one, one call, one message, one question, one conversation, one contract. So take a look at that, Leo. And again, be mindful. Something is coming towards you. It's going to be in a, in a package you didn't expect, or it's going to be very small. Don't overlook it because this is the key for you. Okay. Leo, I love you with all of my heart. Thank you so much for allowing me to do this reading for you. Thank you for allowing me to connect with you. I pray that you found this clarifying and helpful. If you did, please remember to like, share, subscribe, leave a comment below. I would love to hear from you. And with that, Leo, I will see you in our next reading together. Please take care and I am sending you all of my love. Mm. Until next time. Bye, Leo.